All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Um, let me uh, let me pretend to do some weird shit with my arms before we start. Let me exhale aggressively so that you know it's serious. <sighs> Flare the nostrils. Make sure there's no boogies in there. Uh, you know, you can't film a sad, soppy video with boogies in your nose, okay? Been there, done that. But basically, I'm here today to explain where the fuck I've been, okay? Right? Um, so basically, my grandma uh, had cancer, and she had surgery, got it removed. She's good now. But that kind of messed me up, because I was like, wait a minute. She's, you know, she's between the ages of, like, 50 and 100, somewhere in there, so, like, it's a big deal. So I'm like, hmm, she could die at any minute. So I was like, maybe, maybe I should spend more time with family. So that's what I've been doing. Also around that time, my mom decides to get surgery. Oh, how convenient, mom, thank you for that. And it turns out she's having her baby makers removed. And I don't know the details. I don't really wanna know the details. And I'm certainly not gonna share them with you because I could probably go to jail. But for the most part, when they explained it to me, I passed out for the second time that day. It was bad, damn near shit my pants. Really embarrassing, you never wanna do that in front of a hot nurse, but that's beyond the, point, beyond the point. They're both doing good. But I thought I was going to have to uh, babysit my mom after her, her surgery because they said, you you know, when we take out all of your insides and like your lower body, usually you're sore for a few days. And I'm like, okay, I'll take care of you, mom. Don't worry. Turns out she's a fucking warrior. I don't know about you, but when I get a shot, like when I got my flu shot or whatever, I, I was down for the count for like four days. I had to have JC carry me and I didn't even have an explanation for it. I just couldn't walk. My mom has her like everything removed and she's able to function like a normal human being the next day. So not only did I feel like a total pussy, but that also meant I didn't really have to take care of her very much. So we ended up just watching Harry Potter and um, eating our favorite cereal. So yeah, I really missed my uh, clickbait on that one, but uh, I'm also completely off of all my medication. Uh, for those of you that have ever been on an anxiety medication and grew dependent on it, you know that it's rather difficult and pretty shitty to get off of it. And I'm officially three months clean, and I feel great, ladies and gentlemen. My nipples are hard, three-fourths of the day. My shits are solid, they float above the water. It's phenomenal. All right, now it's time to talk about what I've been working on and exactly why I have been gone. So for the last year and a half or so, I have done pretty well in cryptocurrency, as well as the GameStop, AMC, and a few other uh, stock market fiascos. Um, I don't know how the hell, but I ended up timing them decently well. Um, and so this has allowed me to use that money that I made to purchase a construction and real estate management company. And I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty details because I don't want you to fall asleep on me. But uh, long story short, I, I want to eventually be creating small communities of 20 to 30 homes of affordable housing that is 3D printed. I think that'll be fucking awesome. I think there's a lot of kids my age, maybe a little below and a little bit above, and all of our money goes to our rent. And it's pretty shitty because that causes us to not be able to afford healthy food, to not be able to invest and save up for our own retirement. We're just basically paying people shitloads of all of our money to simply live in a fucking box. And I think that sucks, and I hope to take my part in um, uh, fixing that. Another thing I'm working on and I'm actually super excited about is I'm launching a skincare company and with the help of JC and a few other great minds, I hope to create a skincare company that gets rid of all of the bullshit. So I've been on YouTube for a while and as you can imagine, I've been sponsored by many skincares and some of them were, were great products. Some of them weren't. Some of them told the truth. Some of them didn't. Some of them worked. Some of them just straight up fucking didn't. And the majority of them are damn near the same exact thing, but for extremely different prices. And it's kind of shitty because there's a lot of middle schoolers, high schoolers, college students, and above that aren't using quality skincare or any skincare at all. And that might be because it's expensive or they don't know what to get or whatever. So what I hope to do is create a skincare company that provides a all-in-one package, not a product, okay? Not an all-in-one product. That's bullshit. That doesn't exist. It's going to be an all-in-one package that has everything you'd ever need for an affordable affordable price. And I'm, I, I, I couldn't, I'm so excited for this guys. Like I'm so proud of this. Like, like all else aside, like this is awesome for me. Like I've been, I could get emotional right now. Like this is going to be awesome. And I, I'm so happy that I, I hope that Give me a second. I'm naming the skincare after the street I grew up on and also the same street that I accomplished all of this YouTube glory on. Okay, so if you've watched my channel at one point or another over the course of the last however many years, um, it's very likely that you've seen a lot of content on this street. So it will be called Sunshine Street Skincare 
and I couldn't be any more excited about that and I can't wait for you guys to take part in it if you decide to um, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome really so construction and real estate management and skincare and cosmetics has been basically on my to-do list I'm also helping JC launch a boutique called Sunshine Street Boutique uh, for one because I love her too because she deserves it and three because it's sort of like a I'm sorry for the amount of bullshit and harassment she's had to go through over the past year or so um, and once again it's just something that she wants and I want her to have what she wants so uh, we're also working on a boutique and we'll keep you updated on that as well I'm also working on music this is something that is going to bother people because you've heard it before youtuber decides he wants to be a rapper youtuber that decided he wants to be a rapper puts out shitty song written by 10 people it's shitty <laughs> goes and dislikes and that's it but I hope that it's not good yet okay I'm not gonna lie to you guys it's not where I want it to be yet okay I want to do it all myself so it's it's not where it needs to be but it will get there and I'll show you it and I will happily get shit on for it because I'm actually kind of proud of that as well and it's not as bad as you might imagine but look at my face and imagine me talking about fucking your bitch yeah, it's pretty shitty right now, right? Like, like I said. So, we're, we're working on it, though, like I said. <laughs> One more thing. I'm also going to officially start streaming on Twitch. That'll be linked down below. You guys are constantly harassing me to stream on Twitch. So, we're finally doing it. Okay, there you go. Twitch stream down below. Real estate and construction, skincare and cosmetics, a boutique, some other shit I don't really want to mention, to be honest. I've talked your ear off enough. But I will be returning to YouTube, but in a way that is different. Um, I, I This is going to be hard for some people to swallow, but I'm not the 16 year old running around screaming a rubber ducky anymore. This video was actually supposed to be a retirement announcement. Um, I was pretty much done with this, okay? It's been a very rough ride the last year. Um, I've, I've faced a lot of bullshit this last year, and it has kind of left a sour taste in my mouth for everything social media. But once again, I've been reminded that YouTube is by far my favorite thing to do. The feeling you get when you make a, a video that you're proud of, that you really enjoyed making, and then someone comments and says, hey, I was having a really bad day, this made me laugh and made my day better. It doesn't, nothing compares, okay? I've played many video games, I've tried many different drugs, and none of them compare to that feeling, and I just refuse to lose that feeling. But in order to get that feeling, I need to make content that I want to make. I just feel like I have a new perspective and a new way of approaching YouTube, because fortunately, Thank God, I no longer have to worry about getting sponsored, losing sponsors, doing this video because everyone else is doing it, following this trend, saying this, not saying this, or oh, we have to do that to compete with them, like, none of that. I simply am going to be doing it because it's fun, okay? And that, to be fair, this couple's content of 2021 is fucking cringe, okay? Every time I open my subscription, I see the same fucking prank with the same thumbnail on 20 different channels, and don't get me wrong, I've done that before. But this was before <laughs> everyone was bent over in the thumbnail, and there was a shitload of them. Like, <laughs> like, that was, I like to at least think that was different, but I just can't do that anymore, guys. Like, I, like I'm like, JC, are we gonna get married one day, and a month later I'm gonna have you bent over that same couch to get views? Like, I don't think so, I'd hope not. Um, like, don't get me wrong though, like, I love making the couples content, I love the pranks, I love the challenges, I love all that. But it's just gotten to the point where I'm just like, what the fuck are we doing, guys? Like, what the hell? <laughs> like, there's no way you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh, babe, I'm so excited. Yeah, get that thumbnail. Like, fuck that, man. I can't do that anymore. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, hopefully you guys get that. Okay, summary. Uh, skincare coming sort of soon. Boutique coming sort of soon. Twitch will be linked down below. Our vlog channel will also be linked down below. In case you don't know, that's basically the only channel that we post on now. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your guys' patience. I apologize for disappearing, but it's necessary sometimes. And it's very weird to like think, hey guys, I'm going to be gone for a minute. Like that, that wasn't how it was. So I appreciate everyone that stuck, sticks around and is excited for what's to come. Uh, means a lot and I cannot wait for you guys to see the content that I intend on making I'm not gonna act like it's some kind of groundbreaking or anything, but I'm just excited to be able to like Sit in my car and like talk to JC and like fuck around and people really hopefully like it instead of you know The bent over the bed prank. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, anyway Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, remember to take it one day at a time
Okay, so I'm now realizing that I don't have any clickbait for this video. Um, and I want to make sure that everyone that gives a shit actually watches it. So I'm going to heavily clickbait it. I apologize, uh, but uh, fortunately, JC and I have not broken up. We are not breaking up anytime soon, if it's anything, if it's up to me, at least. But, uh, yeah, we're not breaking up. We're good. I appreciate everyone that supports me and supports JC and both of us together. It means the fucking world. I hope that you're excited for what's to come. And I will um, leave you alone now.